Ayo, scenic. One thing I have always struggled with with weed is every time I try to take a big hit to impress my friends, I end up coughing my ever-loving lungs out, and um, it's embarrassing. My face gets red, and I spit, I slobber, and it's honestly like a bad case of getting a giant cock in your mouth. Just everything's disgusting. Everything's a mess. People are throwing up. It's it's terrible. But um, but what I've also noticed is that if you take a little itty bitty pussy hit, no one ever is going to pass you the ball again. I think as a uh, kind of a hazing thing, you have to you kind of have to cough your brains out just to prove to everyone that you're willing to go through the pain to experience the pleasures with everybody going through that same pain. Because um, it was an interesting feeling actually. Actually, I was running the other day and. I was going up and down hills, and I was in a lot of pain, but I just, I just kept moving. And there was like a whole bunch of traffic stopped next to me, and a whole bunch of people looking at me. And I was like, there's all these people judging me, even though they do not understand the amount of pain I am in. And that's when things just got put into perspective for me. Like, no matter how much pain you're in, the only person that's going to get you through it is you and this is another thought i had about running the other day running the concept of running is kind of like just a bad day in general from start to finish it's gonna suck but as long as you keep moving you will get through it and at the end of it if you still are stronger than you were when it started it's going to be a great experience no matter what so turn bad days into great experiences if that makes sense i don't really know what i'm saying i'm just kind of exploring the outlets and you know what folks i think it's time to take another hit so uh load up get your ladders and uh follow me and also uh speaking of running i um encourage y'all to uh, go for a run whether it's a mile, half a mile, doesn't matter. Whether you stop 50 times on the on the run through it and it's just continually terrible, you're dying on the inside, get through it, go through it, get better. Run half a mile, run a mile, run another half mile, run two. Do whatever it takes to just, just get better. That's all life is, is getting better. And I highly recommend that you guys smoke a ball before you run. I have uh, had some of my best runs while under the influence of the marijuana. Um, I, In a way, it improves your cardio, which I don't understand. I have taken edibles and gone to the gym. I've taken edibles and went running. It's one of the greatest experiences. I uh, took an edible, and you know it takes like an hour to hit you. So about 50 minutes in the edibles when I started to run, so I knew halfway through that run, the thing would hit me. And it was as I was coming back. And there was a long road. It was down a hill. And it was in the fall time, so the trees were just changing colors. And it was just straight away in the sun, just peeking down over some trees. And when that edible hit me, bro, it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. One of the best runs I've ever had. And an experience I'm never going to forget. And I would have never have understood and appreciated my surroundings in that moment if I never went. Running doesn't even take that long, dude. It takes less than an hour. You know how much time you spend doing nothing for an hour? Go do something, man. The, everyone always talks about how busy they are to do things. I do a lot of things and more things, and I still have time to do shit. There's just, there is a lot of time. Not a, There is not a lot of time in the day, yes, but there also is at the same time. It just depends on how you spend it. Are you on your phone? Are you, are you watching TV? Are you binge watching? This is what I hate, honestly. Let's take another hit, and I'm going to get into this subject that I'm going to... It's a low-key rage moment, but um, again, if you can't follow along, you can't follow along, but uh, load your bowls, grab your lighters, and uh, take this hit with me, please. As I was saying, basically, this is an argument that pisses me off, is when... I heard someone give someone shit because they play video games for like four or five hours at a time when they play. But then that other person, with the same person who gives them shit for that, will go watch five or six episodes of a TV show and spend three or four hours just sitting there doing nothing watching TV. And it's like, 
you're doing the same thing with your time, sitting and doing nothing. It's just I'm spending it in a more interactive way than you are. And that is one thing I will say is that video games is it, they make it where they want you to suck you in for hours at a time. There's games where if you you can play for two or three hours and that's not even that's like ten percent of the whole game. They want you to be invested. They want to take up your time. I mean, that's why I will say that video games, yes, they're sixty bucks for a new copy, but you're gonna be playing that thing a lot more than you would watch a ten dollar movie. So I think it's worth it. But I I don't. This is another thing that pisses me off. They they keep making these brand new consoles every like two or three years or whatever now it feels like and they're thousands of dollars and i just i don't see the point of buying oldest new stuff anymore it's like material things isn't going to do anything for us anymore for us people who live in poor neighborhoods poor houses and then just buy everything it's like how do you expect to get out of your situation if all you spend your money on is the material things are going to keep you there so I, there's a lot of things that I just don't understand anymore about the society I live in and I question it and then when I question it people get confused and then I get confused and to question the way of life is just it's I'm not even going to get into all of that stuff but it's just if you question things you're automatically wrong it is for, for me sometimes it feels like and I just I don't want to live like that I'm going to question everything I'm going to wonder about everything and Weed is one of the things that's helped me do that. I mean, I, I will say that weed has helped me think in a way I didn't think possible for myself. It's helped me go down alleyways of thought processes that I never thought possible. And it's made me think of things I wouldn't have never thought of other ways. And I'm very grateful for that. And weed, yes, um, I, I, I do think it's not for everybody. I, as much as I love it, I, I don't think it's for everybody. Um... It affects, I've seen how it affects people negatively and that it sucks for them that they can't enjoy it. But I also think that mentally they need to get better for them to enjoy it. Just like I want to try, I personally want to try shrooms, but I know mentally I'm not where I need to be in, in a state of mind to, to do that. And if you're not in a state of mind and you do the things that you know you want to do, but it's going to hurt you, but you do it anyway, it's just going to keep continue to hurt you. And I don't want to get hurt by it. I want, and with shrooms just in general, it's just, it's just a quick quick turn subject turn around but the only reason i would want to do it is for a spiritual level there's things i want to understand about myself and i feel like shrooms is a good way to experience that and i don't really want to dive too much deep into that i don't even know how much i'm recording for but um how about we load a ball and take another hit huh let's do it Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to end it there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this new thing I'm trying. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to enjoy it yet, so we'll see if this ever goes up. Um, hopefully, I'm going to do another one of these. I enjoy talking. I love experimenting with thoughts and seeing where they end up and what kind of things I discover about myself or others or the things around me. And um, I'm happy to share my thoughts with you guys. Uh, I love this new mic. I love y'all. Get high shit for the rest of the day, folks. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.